Welcome to OCT Live. Uh, as the name suggests, there is a, a unique element to our demonstrations this morning. What we're going to do is introduce you to a number of patients who kindly uh, devoted their time to us this morning, and we'll be examining them live and going through a detailed analysis of them. But before we can do that, we also need you to do some work, and there's a roundtable discussion element to what we're including this morning. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed we have some laptops which say OCT Live Clinical Cases. So we're going to get you to assess the evidence first and then feed that back to us and then we'll go through the live assessment of the patients and we'll break down the cases with a colleague of mine, Farda Kuhl, who's consultant ophthalmologist from Sheffield. Before we start that, I think it's important that we identify what is normal and we're starting out uh, evaluating uh, Emily's eye. Emily obviously is a young healthy subject with uh, no ocular pathology that we're aware of and we'll have a, a quick look and a quickly assess her eye. This is our live image that we're seeing at the moment. We're again engaging the eye tracking and we're now stabilizing this image and averaging the reflectance and removing noise and we can now start to appreciate peripheral capillaries. Now remember that an OCT scan is a slice through the tissues and if the slice doesn't coincide with the changes that we're observing within the eye then we have a chance of missing pathology but there is no interpolation in an infrared reflectance image so you'll always be able to identify structural changes with this image. Right so we've had a chance to, to look at the the normal. So we're now going to uh, move on to our cases. Now this lady's got a lot going on. She's, uh, she had a left macular hole in 2012, then she had a left eye inferior retinal vein occlusion March 2013. We're going to eye track again. Let the quality build so we get a really good quality scan for segmentation. You've got preserved inner segment, outer segment junctions there, which uh, uh, delineate the photoreceptors, but temporally they are missing. So you've got photoreceptor degeneration. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you've enjoyed the session.